Back in London. We're back, yeah. And your van. I've never seen your van yeah, before. It's about, um, about two years old. Yeah. So it's here last year at this event. Um, we tend to, it does festivals and it goes out occasionally. I'd like to go out more. Yeah. The beauty of it is we don't have to pack it down at the end of the day. We just close the shutter and drive off. So it's, it's Would a you allow me a, um, an, a, a privileged look inside your kitchen in. before you get really busy? Thank yeah. you. Thank you. electronic door Your boiler, your burner for your water, a boiler. For the hot water, yeah, burner, yeah. Absolutely incredible. Stainless steel sink, stainless steel everywhere. And yeah. this is your daughter plate, the familiar daughter plate. But yeah. so what have you got on the menu today? You've got... Today we've got samosas, actually. Um, so just, actually, they are Punjabi samosas made by some guys. Yeah, they're good samosas. Um, so we've got these samosas. Normally yeah. we'd have our new margins. Yeah. Masala, yeah. chili cheese. This is a tomato that goes in our chili cheese. Mm -hmm. And this is the hot tomato that goes in our masala. Yeah. Yeah. Fresh onion. So I absolutely love your van. I love the fact that you've got a daughter plate, but you've also got a fryer. You've got double fryer, double so fryer. you've got four, you can have four things on go. Everything's, everything's vegetarian as well. There's no oh, worry about cross-contamination, no, this and so that. We always make sure that we go to Mumbai at some point, yeah. Where, where, where did he stay in Mumbai? Where? We stay down in Calabra, okay. but we'll catch a train and we'll go all over Mumbai to find the right dishes. You know, um, so it's just Calabra's easy to stay in. Yeah, you've got fort, you've got Calabra. Everything's fairly Everything's close, close together. Right, yeah. Bandra, Bandra's not far. And, you know, in Mumbai, because yeah. they like to pick things up in Mumbai. Yeah. So the doses there will be doing different. Um, so, for instance, there's a, there's a place called Anand Dosa. And they're opposite Mythby College. And they do incredible mixed up doses, Szechuan doses, Vysors, they do all sorts, even do a pasta dosa. I'm going to have to come to you when I make my list of places to eat. I'll but... give you a million tips, mate, yeah, honestly. No, thank you. Yeah, we, um, Amy does all the research, but she's amazing at it. And we, but yeah, well off the beaten track. A lot of time you walk in these places and 
you know, Westerners don't go and find these places because they're not in, they're not in tourist areas. There's loads of secret places. If you blink, you'll walk past it. Yep. This is my first job of the year. We've been away, we've been over in, uh, over in India, so. Sorry, I've been pretty lazy. The festival will start soon, though, so that's our kind of our main business anyway. Chili cheese dosa, please. Okay. And can I get a veg samosa as well? Okay. Yes. One chili cheese and one samosa. Thank you. Thank you. Order present. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. Chili cheese for the dosa. Thank you. 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 
This is yours, my friend. Thank you. All right. All yours, brother. Uh Monster, is there a secret technique? Well, you've, got to, you've got to season it initially, so when we first have it, obviously it's a lovely big shiny bit of steel. Um, just we just keep rubbing oil on it, keep it heated. Okay. It took me it takes about a few hours to get it to get it right, and then obviously every dose that you make it seasons a little bit more. Yeah. Um, now it's yes, it's got a lovely shine on it. The thing is, our other one, the more you make, the thicker it gets with the char, which is not a bad thing. It makes no difference. It makes it non-stick. But after a while, you've got to strip it back and start the again. With the, splashing the, the reason I don't splash water is because when you've got this build-up of a nice build-up of carbon on there, if you splash too much water, and it will lift the carbon. You get that, you end up with a mottled effect all over the steel. It pulls it off. It's like, it's like when you splash water in the bottom of a pan, which has got stuff stuck to it, it starts to bring it off, right? Same effect. Wow. Yeah, they've done a slick job on it. It used to be a bus. Okay. And, uh, so we bought off a guy we know, and they got it converted. 